So we've got just about every route we need on our site done and ready, except we've got a couple things we haven't touched. This right here on all these cards, these point to an empty area that says category slash whatever the, the name of the category is. We've also got the same thing for the people. So we wanna actually list this out instead of just showing our 404 page. So we can do that. We can create those dynamic routes in a couple of different ways. So I'm gonna show you the more manual way and then probably the, the smarter way to do this. So I'm gonna come inside here, inside of our SRC. Let's see, let's go inside the pages right here. And I'm gonna create a new folder. We'll just call this category so that we can have a sub route essentially of category. Now inside here, I'm gonna create a file and I'm gonna surround this in brackets. We're just gonna call this category. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm gonna call it category like that. And what this will do is basically any route inside of here, any sub route will use this bracketed syntax to decide what it should display. So I think next actually does this as well and it might be borrowing from next if I'm remembering correctly. But what we can do is up in the front matter, write a function called get static paths. And then we'll basically generate those static paths for us whenever somebody visits a sub route of category. So we'll say export, and this needs to be an async function. We'll say function get static paths. This is something that Astro gives us. This is going to return then an array of static paths. Now this array will be a collection of objects. The objects can have two things. We can pass in a params a parameter here. This will be an object itself and then we'll also pass in a props. Now, basically what this is gonna do is every time somebody visits a sub route, it's gonna check one of these and output it where down here, we can grab const and whatever our name of the thing is from astro.params. We haven't used params yet because we haven't had dynamic routes yet. We have, however, used props. So both of these are things that we can pass down like here. And we're gonna leave these alone until we name them up top here. So let's go ahead and name them first. So what I'm gonna do is manually type all the different categories I have, and I'm gonna name them category. The param is the URL I want it to go to. And you might remember that if I just pass in the category name itself, I'll get a percent sign 20 for any space. And I don't want that. Remember, I slugified it instead. So let's go ahead and bring in that slugify function. So I'll import slugify from up two levels into the JS and from utils. Now what I wanna do is come over here and slugify and I'm gonna manually type here reference docs. That's one of the categories I use. Now what I wanna pass in as a prop is a name, and here the, the name I want it to display is reference docs. That's the prime I wanna pass in, not the slugified version. All I'm gonna do is take this and copy it down three times, one, two, three. I need to add some commas here, I guess, as well. So comma, comma, and comma. And then what we're gonna do is just change these up. So I'm gonna grab these next two with command D, change this to general. This is another one of the tags or the categories I use. Grab this one, we'll change this to CSS. Finally, I'm gonna grab this and change this to Astro. So those are the only categories I use in all of those blog posts. Now you can probably already see the disadvantage of doing it this way, but what I need to do now is destructure the category right here, so category, and then I need to destructure the name right here. I'm not actually gonna use the category anywhere, this is just so Astro knows what the URL should be but I am gonna use the name in the route. So if I came in here and just said name, now when I come over here and I click on reference docs, it should show me reference docs. If I go backwards and I click on CSS, same thing. Now, much like many of my other pages, I want this to actually use my page layout. So I'm gonna actually open up my index page for my blog and I'm just gonna copy out, let's see, let's just grab all of this and I'm gonna paste this all in here. And then you'll notice I need my main layout and my postcard up top. So let's go ahead and grab both of those. So let's call this like uh, utils. And then this will be component uh, imports. And here I want to import my main layout. This will be from main layout. And then I also want to pull in my postcard from the same area, except this will be from components. If I scroll back down here, you'll see I still have some things like this formatted post isn't there yet, but we'll actually generate that here in just a second. So maybe let me comment this out and I wanna change this around to be dynamic. What would I want this to say? Well, this would be our name. And in fact, what I'd probably want this to say is something like posts about, and then the name, whatever the name happens to be. The title itself, I'd also wanna be the same thing. And then the ARIA label here, I want to be posts about whatever the name is. So because I'm templating out here, I'll just do in uh, like a template string here. We'll do posts about and whatever the name of the category is. So if I go ahead and save this and I come back over here, now I should get post about reference docs. 
Now, if you want this to stand out a little bit more, I actually have it to where if you add a span tag around here, so Command Shift P, wrap with abbreviation and span, it will actually color it that uh, purple color. So if you like that, you can do that. And I've got this set up now. Now I actually want to display cards for anything with this reference docs post. So let me go ahead and comment this out. I'm not going to save it if I can remember, because what I want to do is copy in the same stuff I did from this blog page as well. So up top here, we're going to grab all of this, including the, let's see, do I need a format blog pass? I do, but I think I already have an import. Yeah, so I'll just grab it right here. So format blog post, that should also come in. Now what I want to do is on each page that I'm generating kind of on the fly here with this, this exported function, for each page, I want to loop through all the posts and then basically loop through what I have and decide if they share that same exact category. Now, this is also something I could have added in as another filter point, but in this case, I thought it'd be better just to do it after the fact. So the first thing I need to do is to change this path. So this should say blog. And now what I need to do is basically figure out if they are this category's posts. So we could say const like cat posts or something like that. So this category's posts. And what I want to do is loop through my formatted posts and I want to filter out a post if the slugify post.frontmatter.category equals the category. So it's going to return an array of posts that match this category. Now, I probably should move this up above here. So I'm going to move this up above here because it's using this category. So I guess we do use it in one place right here. So on the individual page, I'm going to basically say, hey, are there any posts that match the category of the param that I'm on? Now I had to slugify it so that it matches the category since we slugified that. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm taking all my formatted posts, which by default should filter out any future posts, should also filter out any posts that are draft, and should sort them by date. And I'm looping through those, filtering out anything that shares the same category as what's up here. Now this is why I did it after the fact, because we're also going to do the same thing for the author, and then you have a bunch of different conditions, and it's just easier to do it right after the fact here. And remember, this is just on build, so you're not worrying about client-side performance or anything like that. So now what we're going to do is take these cat posts, and that's what we're going to loop through down here. So I'll save this, and I'm being told that there are no matches that are found, and I think that's because they need to come up one more level. There we go. So these are all the ones that match this reference docs, and you can see the only reference docs show. If I change this back here to formatted posts, like this, you'll see that everything shows, which is kind of not the point. It should only be the ones that are passed in as the param. If I come back over this way and I go to CSS, same thing, it should only show the CSS posts. If I come back over here, let's see, can I find an Astro one? Yes, I can. Just had one, I guess, in generals, same kind of thing. So just to recap over here, what we've done is this get static paths function. This is going to return an array of page routes. All these routes will use the same template here that I've displayed, and obviously I'm dynamically inserting the name of whatever it is, and then looping through just the category posts that match whatever my route is in the first place. Now the trouble with something like this is that if I have another category, I have to actually manually update it here. So if I come over here to post, and I change this to something like, I don't know, pizza, or something like this, come over to blog, let's see, 1120, that should be down here somewhere, pizza. If I click on this, you'll notice that it just basically errors out because I haven't manually added that. That means I would have to come all the way over here. I would have to add another one. This other one would say pizza and well, now it's showing. So there's actually a better way to do this. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll come back over here and change that back and we'll get out of here. But before I show you that, I want to point out one other thing. And that is if you just go to the category route itself. So if I come in here and just go to category, You'll notice that I also get a 404 because I don't have an index.astro page at this level. So I could do the same thing I've done over here to blog and just like list off all the categories. I haven't done that in this project, but just so you know, that is not a route unless you set it up. Now, how do we dynamically generate these routes where we don't have to pass that in? Well, let's go ahead and create another folder here. We're going to call this author. And inside here, I'm going to create a file. And this time in bracketed syntax with three dots up front, I'm going to pass in author. Again, you can call that whatever you want, but since it is the author, I'm going to just call it author. Hey there, this is Chris from the future. Sorry to interrupt. I just noticed as I was editing this, you don't actually need the three dots here. Having the three dots allows you to have basically nested routes that are auto-generated. In this case, all we would need to do is change around the function like I'm going to show you here, and that would work even without those three dots. In fact, the three dots don't really do anything here because, again, we're not creating nested routes. We're just creating routes for the, the author itself. 
Now, if you're going to add something like pagination on this, you might want to do that. So that way you could create like paginated notes for the author. All right, sorry for the interruption. Back to regularly scheduled programming. Let's go ahead and start with this category content right over here. And I'll just drop this in right here. All the imports should work the exact same because we're at the same level. However, in this case, when I'm returning here, I'm not gonna manually type these things out. In fact, I'm just gonna get rid of all this return for now. What I'm gonna do is actually pull up this all post directly inside of this git static paths. I'm also gonna pull up the formatted posts and pull this up as well. And then we can just go ahead and get rid of this. Actually, maybe let's bring this up and comment it out because it might be quicker to use that as a starting point because what we're wanting to do is now get a, a new set of all the authors. And by default, a set is only gonna include one of each item. So that's why I'm encouraging you to do it as a new set. And then we'll put that inside of an array. So I'll say const all authors. We'll use the spread syntax to do a new set. And here's where I might borrow this right here. Now we can just get rid of the rest of this. We'll come right inside here. The new set is gonna take a formatted post and it's gonna map over each post. And for each post, it's simply gonna list the post.frontmatter.author. And then finally, at the very end of all this, if I can make this clear for you, we're going to dot flat it. So what we've done is loop through every post that's available to us. So anything that's not in the future, that's not a draft, and that's been returned by this formatted posts right here, then what it will do is loop through all those posts and grab the author from each one of those. If the author already exists, it's not going to include it in this set. So I'm only going to get one name per author. Now that I've got all authors in a single array, I'm going to return from this git static paths, all authors, and I'm gonna map over these because in the end I want an array that I'm getting back because remember, git static paths should return an array to me. Now here's another case where I could actually use a reduce as well, but in this case I happen to write this as a map to start with, so let's just keep it with what I've got. If you wanna refactor that though, you're welcome to do that. Because up here, what I need to do is first of all, grab all my author posts. So I'll just call it author posts. And all I want to do is take my formatted posts and I want to filter out any post where the post.frontmatter.author equals the author of the current page. Now I'll walk through all this here again in a second if that doesn't make sense. But after I've got all those author posts, then what I want to do is return two things. I want to return a params. This is going to have author where I slugify the author, because again, that will be the route. It'll be a slugified route. And then the props, which are the things that get passed down there, will be both the author name. So I actually want the name itself. That's kind of what we did last time with the category name, but I also want the posts. We'll do author posts. Now all I need to do is come down this way. And in this case, I need to update this to say author. And then this needs to be posts and author name. Finally, let's change up a few things and then I'll talk through all this with you. So I'm gonna grab the name, the name, and the name with command D each of those times. And we'll change this to author name because this is one of the props I get passed down to any of these dynamic page routes. And then here, this isn't cat posts anymore. This is just posts. Finally, both this about and the about down here, both of these should probably be by posts by this person, not about the person because they're the ones who wrote the post. So let me save this and then I'll jump over so we can actually see what's going on. So if I click Victoria Greenfield, I should get only post by Victoria Greenfield. Now this might seem like black magic, but let me talk you through this again. So what we're doing is looping through all posts and then formatting them. We've done that plenty of times. Now what I'm doing is grabbing an array with just the names of the authors. So it should look something like this. I would get an array back that says like Victoria, whatever her name is, and then like Alan or whatever his name was. So just like this, I'm getting an array just like this back. Then what I'm gonna do is map through each of those and say for each person in that array, for each name, I want you to take the author name and construct an array of their posts. How do we do that? Well, we go through all the formatted posts, so all the posts we've been given, we filter out only posts that match that author's name. Then from the get static paths, I want you to return two things, a params, this is the URL itself, because we slugified the actual URLs going to their page, I want to slugify the end route, and then we also get props. In this case, I want both the author name and I want any posts that they've written so I can loop through those and display them out here below. Now, the advantage of doing it this way is I can very quickly generate new names of authors and nothing will change. So if I come back over here, let's go to like post one, I don't know, and we'll change this to like Bubba, all right? 
and I come back over here to my blog. Let's scroll down to find Bubba. Here we go, Bubba, and it's already set up and ready to go. So I don't have to do anything special because when I come over to the author route here, it's just going to figure out whatever all the author's names are and dynamically generate those routes based off of that. That means we've now got this reference docs and CSS and any other category working. I've also got names of all the authors working as well. If I come back over here, any of these will work. Now, right now we've got just six posts on the blog. I'm assuming at one point you're going to get way more than six. So at some point we need to add some pagination. And Astro provides pagination out of the box. It's actually not too hard to set up, especially now that we've set up all these custom functions and all our custom components. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add pagination and decide how many get put on each page, dynamically generating it for this blog page. I'll see you in the next video.